It's been a breakthrough year for Jürgen Meltzer. Earlier this year, the Austrian reached a career-high eighth in the South African Airways ATP rankings. Always an undeniable talent, working with Swedish coach Jochen Nystrom has helped turn his potential into results. Three and a half years ago, he, he was looking for a coach and, and I was available, so it was, a, it was a good step for me. I knew him since before, I knew what he needed to do. He can play some unbelievably good points, but I felt when we started, he didn't really have the the, the basic, the, the normal cross-court shots. So we, we worked a lot the first year and a half on, on cross-court that the shot should, should look the same and feel the same. Twice winner of the Austria Open, Meltzer has three ATP World Tour singles titles to his name. Former top 10 player Nystrom has played a pivotal role in making the dream of becoming a top 10 player a reality. It was a career goal. Um, when you start playing tennis, that's what you want to achieve. I mean, you dream about it and it has been far away, let's say three, four years ago. And I stepped it up and played my best tennis the last year and made it into the top 10. And now I'm keen on getting back there. It's a milestone to be top 10, 10 in the world. And, and uh, it was down to eight for, for a few months. So, so I'm very pleased. Reaching the top 10 is, is something you wanted to achieve your whole life and then, I mean, especially for me, it took me a lot of years to, to reach that goal and then the older you are, I think the more you appreciate it that you finally uh, be in the top 10. Staying fit and healthy is clearly of paramount importance. The 30-year-old Austrian's Dutch trainer Jan Felthaus provides the edge to go the distance. Uh, my job for Jürgen is to uh, keep him healthy, work on his footwork, uh, it's, uh, I'm also his physical therapist and conditional coach, so it's the whole package. A little bit with tennis footwork and the rest outside the tennis coaching. And A crack team behind him, Meltzer has everything he needs to challenge for the big prizes. But for now, they're playing down their expectations. We work hard and, and, and we go from here and, and hopefully end of the year is, is top 15. Well, the goal is for me, I mean, I have a lot of points to defend coming up and couldn't play before the French Open, so it was a little bit of a tough year, but um, finishing in the top 15 would be the goal, and if it gets to the top 10, I would be glad. Competing in singles and doubles with German partner Philipp Petschner throughout the year provides his team with special challenges. He came up in a good year, and we didn't expect that he had so many matches because he plays doubles and singles. And, uh, the Grand Slams were a little bit longer than we normally planned, so it was a lot of matches where we uh, took care of. It's difficult to, uh, to keep him fit between all these matches. And now we can build up a little bit more again because he has a, hopefully a little bit less matches. After Wimbledon, the Games Elite are preparing for the US swing and its climax, the US Open in New York. Team Meltzer are looking in good shape, ready for the challenge of the hard courts. Well, Jürgen started already now, last few weeks, to, to work more with the condition and, and uh, he's working out well. And I think last year he, he did well in the, in the state, so I see no, it shouldn't be any different this year. It's difficult how you plan it also. I mean, you need to plan one or two weeks before that you can can make him fit for this uh, this long period. Also, he has Davis Cup afterwards also, so it's a long period of six six weeks. Um, it's always looking what's happening. I mean, you can't, there's no 100% rule what you can do. It's difficult, but we will manage it, I think. Ranked 18 with a third of the season remaining, Meltzer still in with a good shout to reach the last eight and the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals in November. You have to improve your game every day in order to be able to compete with the top guys. and. Um, you got to work out hard and if you don't put all the work in, uh, you're probably going to end up being out of the top 50. Well, they need to win matches and, and, and you need to work on the right stuff. And I think, uh, like I said before, when I started with Jürgen, I think we, after two years it felt like we've been really working on the right stuff and uh, hopefully we can do that uh, in the future as well. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, the Olympus US Open Series gathers momentum as America's hardcore roadshow reaches Los Angeles. And we'll have all the action and reaction from the red dirt as the European clay court swing slides into Switzerland and Croatia.
Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and find us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next week.